what is going on y'all welcome to the video and in this video i'm gonna give you tips for skinny guys to build muscle and bulk up as fast as you can so let's get started tip number one is focus on strength now this is where most skinny guys go wrong you'll find that each and every day you're going to the mirror check your progress and you'll see nothing going on now because of that it will make you get demotivated to keep on lifting now this is why i tell you focus on strength because Checking your progress in the mirror will take you weeks or months for you to see noticeable change into your frame. Instead, you should measure your progress by measuring your strength inside the gym. On one hand, you'll be increasing your strength each and every week, which will also cause you to get motivated to go and lift each and every day. And on the other hand, the more you keep on increasing your strength in the gym, that's a stimulus for your muscles to grow. So if you don't get stronger, you're not going to get bigger. And there's three ways of how you can implement this. One is by weight increment. Let's say this week I'll be bench pressing 135 for three sets. Next week you can try 140 for three sets. The next one is increasing your reps. Let's say this week I'll be doing three sets of eight. The next week you can try doing three sets of nine. And the third one is by increasing your sets. Let's say this week I've been doing three sets of eight. The next week you can try and do four sets of eight of the same weight and of the same exercise. And personally, I recommend that you try and incorporate all three techniques into your routine. So tip number two, rest periods. I know I keep repeating this each and every day, but lately, mostly this season, there are a lot of beginners come to the gym and most of them are skinny dudes which, who are trying to bulk up. And uh, all I can say is that they are rushing through their workouts. After set, they just rest for, for a few seconds then keep on rushing it, keep on rushing. like bro, that's why you mess up. And the reason is because you need the strength for each and every set. The moment you go into a set fully recovered, having all the amount of strength that you need, you can actually push through that set with heavy, serious reps, which also causes substantial amount of muscle to grow onto your frame. So when it comes to this, I actually recommend the three, two, one rule. That is for a heavy set, that is one to five reps. You actually need to rest for three minutes and for the moderate amount of weight that is six to ten reps you actually need to rest for two minutes and for the light weight that is 11 plus reps i actually recommend just rest for one full minute and when you follow this i can assure you that you gain a substantial amount of muscle into your frame and by the way if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that subscribe button because i post new videos each and every week and you don't want to miss them so let's go to the gym right now so I'm actually outside the gym right now. So point number three, technical failure. So I know most of you who have gotten into this lifting career have a tough decision of how you should train. Should I train for technical failure or should I train for complete failure? And my answer is train for technical failure. Technical failure is when your form starts to break down during the lift. Let's say you're doing bench press, then you find yourself one arm is going higher than the rest. Even if your friend comes and helps you up, even if you start and flail in your body so that it's comes up either way stop it right there because at that point you're just risking an injury so train to technical failure and i hope that made sense bro keep watching because i'll give the last two tips after the lift fuck me i'm looking in the mirror so foggy but i've never seen clearer i don't really think anyone can save me and honestly i'm not really sure i want saving i like to be my own worst enemy there's no risk if you don't try it anything so i'ma just get by and everything see you in the next life have to be a better me so tip number four always start with the compound movements that is bench press, leg press, squats, pull-ups. A compound movement is any exercise in the gym which involves other muscles indirectly being put into work. For example, bench press. It's for chest, but at the same time, you feel your shoulders getting involved and your tricep getting involved. And the reason why I say this is because you can actually put more load onto the bar, which also equals to more hypertrophy in your body. So, do compound movements, put more load onto the bar, Put more stimulus into the into the body. Then after that, now you can go for the accessory exercises such as cable flies, rope pushdowns, and uh, yeah, beauty muscles. So focus first on the compound movement. Then 20% of the workout finish off with the beauty muscles. If you get what I'm saying. And for the post-workout meal, we have some pilau, that is rice, some spices in there and a protein and also have a glass of water right here so I don't get choked and a meat 
9 out of 10. Nine out of ten. And that leads to point number five. So point number five, make sure that you prioritize your recovery meals. By recovery meals, I mean the meals that you either take before going to the lift or after the lift. Like for me, I make sure that I have some carbs in me and some protein in me. The protein to assist in protein synthesis and the carbs to fill me up. Because who doesn't love carbs? And after that, I don't really focus on the fats. So you choose which will be best for you. Eating before the lift or after the lift, as long as that you put some calories in your body and that will make you fill up your frame as fast as possible. And I hope that makes sense, bro. That all being said, I hope that you made it to the end of this video. And if you did, I appreciate you. And I advise you that you click this video right here because it's an awesome video, a cool video. And if you're new to the channel, how are you doing, bro? I post new videos each and every day, not today, but week. Subscribe, join the journey.